How's it going, everybody? It's Gorilla Man here, back with another Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 video. And in today's video, guys, we're going to be finishing this S15 Silvia right here. Um, it's a Nissan, or I guess they say Nissan in Australia. So whatever, whatever you want, whatever you want. Uh, but we're going to be finishing the S15 today. Um, last video, we finished the entire motor guys haven't seen that yet go check it out uh we did motor drivetrain gearbox and fuel fuel pump uh so pretty much all we have left now is cosmetics like technically this thing could just technically this could just start and run right now after i put some oil in it i forgot to put oil in it i remember that glug 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 all right there we go so first things first Interior detailing. Uh, Carl A. Gonna do some welding. Oh, that's always too. Why do they move two down there? All right. Rip off all the panels we don't need. Windows, tail lights, bumpers. You know the whole nine yards. Anything else? Oh, there's some headlights. Hey, we have two headlights here. We might be able to salvage these ones actually. All right, and voila, it's still purple, it's still pretty bad, but you know, hit that up, what does that say on the side there, a spec R, ooh, don't even know what the spec R in this is, but you know, we got it if we, if we have it, okay, so, I think we fixed oh yep there it is there it is and then we fixed the door and then we fixed one headlight not that one it was not that one either never mind we broke the headlights i thought we fixed it but i guess we broke it uh, i think it was another door on there broke that one too okay so we'll go to here so s15 and these are all the options we have so there's a lot of options let me pull up the Fast and Furious really quick. Uh, give me a second. All right, <clears throat> we got it figured out. I see what it looks like now. We're good to go. So, headlights. We're gonna start out with these normal headlights. Uh, I think the hood is just a flat hood. I don't think it has any vents in it. Now the front bumper, which I can see. We don't really see the rear bumper very well, but the front bumpers not really any of these here actually yeah none of these because that's this is the uh the spec r but the one from the movie guys is a spec s so it doesn't completely match perfectly but we're pretty close we're pretty close get those um i guess we'll just go with one of these this one is one. I think it'll probably be. This one's probably the closest. Definitely the closest out of all of them. Get that. Get that. Super tinted. And then. Is there a wing? I don't think there was a wing. There's probably a wing. There's always a wing. Yep, there's a wing. Okay, so the wing is more like this right here or even like this actually but we'll do this one okay so it's the trunk and everything and then the bumper this is kind of what we want so I'm just gonna go with that one you know why not give me the mirrors I think we have the tail lights and I think that's it there's the front bumper and if you guys are curious, this one is from... What the heck did I not grab a front window? This one is from Tokyo Drift, if you guys have seen that one. That's the window back. That's window front. What the heck? Did we buy two rear windows there accidentally? I think we might have. I think we might have. Yep. Okay, so we got the caged one, which is... We wanted the cage. Rear bumper. Tail light one tail light two. Oh, I guess we did save a tail light. What? I did not know that. Alright, get that in. 
And then I know what the wheels look like also. They're chrome per usual. They're, what is it, seven spoke chromes? So we'll do that. All right, there we go. This thing is good and ready to go. Let me close that. It's got the nice, the S for the Sylvia on the front. It's like a lightning bolt, basically. All right. I think that looks great. It's pretty close. Definitely pretty close. It's the, it's the spec R, so it's a little bit different as you guys, as I said before, but uh, it's pretty close. And then we'll be doing a blue, but then it would take in the movie. There's uh, a couple orange stripes along the side, but I don't think we're gonna be able to get those in. All right, let's get these taken off of here. And I think we, we'll see what these ones are. If these ones are like 16s, so we'll probably do 17s with a smaller profile on them. Okay, so let's check what that was. So that was a 17, actually. So how did that look? Okay, we want a little bit thinner. So we're going to do 18s. Wait, did those have any ET offsets? No, thankfully. I hate it when those have that because it makes it so much more difficult. All right, so you need a seven spoke rim. Mm. Closer. Man, there are really nothing good. There's really nothing good here, is there? That's one, two, three. That's that's eight spoke. That's another eight spoke. I don't know. Ah, it's so difficult to tell what we want to do and what we don't want to do. Um, I gotta make a choice here. Cause I gotta get going with this. You know what? Man, this is such a difficult choice. We'll probably do these actually. Sure, it's a what? It's a nine spoke, so it's got two more than or wait. No, we'll do these. These are definitely the closest thing we have here. Because nothing's just yeah, yeah, nothing's like really what we're going for. 18s. Then let's check what the tires were. They were 195s in the front. 195, 55, and then 205, 58. Okay, so we'll do sport tire. Two, 18. So we'll do 195 by 50. So we'll bump this down to a 40 profile. And then we'll do 205 and this one was 40 profile also well uh, yeah we should have just matched them i don't know why we didn't want to just match them the other ones are super close so it doesn't really matter i hope i did the all oh, wait we need to stop hold on what's the difference in all these I do the wrong did I not buy those I don't think I bought those guys 18s 205 40 all right we should have them now right yeah okay here we need to separate these real quick I forgot we need to go through and chrome them all right give me that once we go through and chrome all these wheels, then we'll be good to put them back on. Um, I'll adjust the brakes and stuff real quick. Um, so we at least have some good, decent brakes. Oh, gosh. Go straight to chrome, yeah. We don't need anything else other than just straight chrome, so. Let's see here. Back one. one chrome all right now everything we have should be painted right I guess it doesn't show it on here but when you go here to the tire machine it should show a silver rectangle that means that they've been painted 
At least I thought it would. Well, these ones are chrome, so... Yeah, we probably went with the best choice we had, guys. This one looks not too bad at all. Yeah. Sweet. Alright, now all we have to do is go through and mount and balance every single one of these. Which I'm getting tired of doing because I've done this over 100 times now. Alright, I'm going to go through, get all these ready to go, and I'll see you guys back here in just a second. Alrighty, so as the last one's finishing up there, we are going to do a little bit of brake work here. Um, we're going to get new bearings put in and new brakes, calipers, and pads. So there's that one. Can't really see over here, can we? There we go. I'm doing new hubs too, just because I don't want any uh, play in the wheel. Snap over here. There we go. Then I already bought the brakes and discs. So let's get the hubs. And then we'll repair what we can. Yeah, I figured we wouldn't be able to repair much on those. Alright, so. We can start with these. I, I gotta admit, it does look bad with the... Uh, all the rust on the back of it, but it's still, it's not that bad. It's definitely better to get at least new discs and brakes on, because then in reality... You could actually drive the car, but still would be bad, though. Still would be very bad. Caps, pads, and then I know we're going to be running out of caliper cylinders here soon. So I'll pick up two more. For some reason, the cylinders for the calipers lately, like the piston cylinders, just go out on me every time I try and do anything. So pick up two more of those. Yeah, this does look pretty good. I mean, I gotta admit, I would rather do the entire suspension, but I don't. I just don't have the time right now. What the heck? How are we out of brake pads? I bought four. Okay, whatever. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. So there's that side and the left side over here. And I still have not found that front radiator uh, condenser yet, guys, so that sucks. So I still, that's just the weird part. I couldn't find it at all. So we will, we will not be able to hit 100% on this car no matter what. All right, there's that. Now let's get the drivetrain and everything hooked up. Two, three. Two, three, four. One more. There it is. Okay. And then it looks like there's not really any exhaust on this either. Which is interesting. But, needless to say, it's already worth over $115,000. So, uh, next we'll do this. Go in here. License plates. Scroll all the way down. Ah, we're definitely going to do a Japanese plate. And then, I also figured out, guys, you're supposed to do this. You're supposed to just do a bunch of spaces. Because it'll give you numbers already. Yes, there we go. Otherwise, like we did on the uh, Honda, it'll do this weird stuff. Oh, I know the issue. The front license plate spawns underneath. Yep, there it is. So it's a little bit of a glitch, but, you know... We'll do it just to increase the value of the car. Yeah, it didn't really do much. But, you know, it's worth it. Uh, Alright, so there we go. 340 horsepower. Let's move this thing over to the dyno. 
No. Classic Rim 16. Uh-oh. I might have messed something up here, guys. Let's check this out. The front wheels have a different size. Did I buy one a 17 and one an 18? Oh, no. This is not good. Not looking good. Oh, that's what it was. 205. Okay, okay, okay. Still, the, they're the right size. It's, it's just the uh, the thickness was off. So we have the 205, 195, and 205. Okay. Okay, okay. So we need the 205 in the rear, which means the other side has the 195. So then give me this one. This one's the 195, so I'll switch this one out for the 205. All right, so there's 205. All right, we'll snap over to this guy. And then this one. This should solve our issue. If it doesn't, then I'll probably have to redo the entire tire setup. All right, dino or paint shop time? Paint shop time, yeah. I was gonna say, we well, should probably paint this before we do anything else. So there it is. Nissan Silvia Nissan Nissan whatever you want to say all right so oh, that is okay so we're gonna do a blue it's gonna be a dark blue like this almost how is this that's almost purple that is purple, actually. <laughs> okay, so right here, and then we need to make it a little bit darker. So this was about the color it was in the movie. And then it had these orange slash white stripes up the side. Let's see if there's any livery. All right, no livery. All right, so this is what we're going to have to rock then. We're going to have to rock this deep blue, which, I mean, it's not bad at all. I definitely like it. The front of this car looks really good. And then, really quick, I'm going to go check and see if there was anything else we can put on for the community. Nope. Nope, there's not. All right. Let's open this bad boy up. Let me get this seat out of here. So, that was seat one, fabric A. So, we'll do some more of those. So, we need to pick up two more of those. So, seat one. Seat one, a fabric A, and then we'll do we'll do it more of a bucket style. And then we'll do wheel eight. All right, these ones we're gonna do fabrics. I'm not gonna do leather in these. All right, let's hop in here really quick. Make sure she starts up. Left hand or right hand drive is so weird to me. Oh, listen to it purr. There we go. All right, so it is good to go. Ready to dyno. All right, so V8 motor fully, fully built. I'm going to say <gasps> no. Are you kidding me? It won't let us dyno the car without that piece? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, we have to find that piece now. There's no way that piece is even in the game. No, this is so bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know what we're going to do then if we can't find it. So it wasn't in here. It's probably not in body tuning either. Nope, just giving us more chieftain bandit stuff. What about tuning shop? Is it in here? CH? Nope. It's not in gearboxes. I don't know why I'd even check there. 
Uh, it's not an interior. We just looked at interior. It's not in there. Not in there. Main shop. Oh, no. So it's not in here either. There's got to be oh, something. We're missing something. Um, let me go to the Steam Workshop, guys, and see if they say anything about it in, like, the files. All right? Give me a second. All right, guys. So I went through. I looked at it. And I guess this is a reoccurring issue that hasn't been fixed yet, I think. Um, with that front AC condenser, whatever it is, uh, you can't get it. Like, you simply... Unless I were to go and find another one, um, I don't think that we can really do it. Uh, really quick, I'll try this. Here. I'll run to... Where should we go? Where should we go? We'll try... Car salon. Let's go check the car salon. I'll see if we can find a working Sylvia there. And we'll just buy it. Strip that one part out. See if it will still work. Because... Oh! Yeah. Yeah, it's... It, yeah, that sucks. That sucks a lot. I was really hoping we would get this thing to work, but dang it, and it's not here. Okay. Well, oh, man, that's that's a real bummer. Well, guys, I think we'll probably have to end it here because I don't know if I'll be able to go get that part at all. Um, I'll look into it more to see if I can figure it out, but I don't really think there is a fix at the current moment. Uh, even though this mod's like a year old, it's still, I don't know, it's still not out there, but hope you guys enjoyed this build. I mean, I did... Uh, I really, really, really like the look of this thing. It's got a V8. I think in real life it has an SR20, which is a crazy, crazy motor. Um, but it's like really, really, really clean looking car. I mean, I don't like the rear as much as I like the front side. But the front side, like here forward, I think is really, really cool. I like the headlights and everything. I like how small it is. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll end it there, guys. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to complete it. I didn't realize that that part missing was like absolutely detrimental detrimental to the entire build which kind of sucks uh but i guess you live and you learn uh but if you guys enjoyed this video so far if you're enjoying the fast and furious series i'm doing right now leave a like down below and leave a comment let me know also if you guys aren't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button uh i think we're getting close to eighty-five thousand. uh and then we're on the road to 100k so it'll be fun uh but thank you all for watching i'll see you all in the next car mechanic simulator video